Hi guys, today, Ibiza. that follow me on TikTok know I'm a regular visitor. I'm sort of killing time. Um, you know, Ibiza, you know some of the things I'm about to say to you. <laughs> Not only is it super, super expensive, muy caro, super caro, but it was still a little bit more. I tried to get a bus today, but they couldn't accept the content of the payment. So, now I'm in Ibiza town, I'm going to take some Trip. So from here I can get to the bank and of course get some cash then I get the bus over to San Pelalia where I need to be. Now is a cruising area in Ibiza, in Ibiza town. If you've been here I'm sure you will know it. Naughty boys. Um, no one here now obviously the time of day and the time of year but um, I thought I'd walk through here with you guys just so you can see. It's a bit of a shame of course that when the teddy bears have finished their picnic that they don't clear up after them because they tend to leave all their wrappers everywhere. You naughty teddy bears and bear cubs. <laughs> but this is where it all goes on apparently. What I mean apparently is so I don't know. Anyway, anybody notice? You notice now, look how quickly my beard's growing back. Any of you guys that saw me shave it off the other night in the live? It's only day two, look. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? What do you reckon? Okay, you can be honest. Anyway, time to go and get the bus. See you later. Walking down to the bus stop. How exciting is that? Bus from here to Santolalia. It's gonna be about two euros fifty, I think, or it used to be. Um, we'll see, maybe things have changed. But if you consider going over by taxi, it's gonna cost me 45 euros. You can see the attraction of getting the bus. strange feeling that the uh, buses don't go from here anymore. Of course, there's no signs anywhere to say where they go from. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Hang on, this guy looks like he might be helpful. Let's have a look and see if I can find out. Apparently leave from the bus station. So that's new. Um, when we lived here, oh, probably five, six years ago, they'd finished building the bus station and they didn't make it wide enough for the buses to go in. So I'm painting a very negative picture, aren't I, Vivi? It isn't all negative, it's just um, um, I'm telling you as it is. So they um, decided that they couldn't use the bus terminal. And it's just sat there empty ever since. But apparently, as that very nice gentleman has just told me, you didn't see him, and he's just said that it's now in use apparently, so we have to walk to the bus station. Um, so wish me luck. I've got to meet someone for lunch at two. It's, what's the time now? It's half past 11. I thought I'd given myself plenty of time. This looks very promising. It says above the door, Estacio de Autobuses, Estacio de Autobuses, and bus station. Oh, very posh. We even have hand tires and our screens to show us the times. 12.40, oh my god, 12.40, is that the next one? First floor, of course. It's always, if I can, there's two options, I'll always take the wrong one. So I ended up downstairs. Well, <laughs> I don't know where I 
am I lost, totally lost. There's no bus stops up here either. I would have said they were this way. Keep going. Are you enjoying your walk with me today? Well, this looks promising. You've heard me say that already a couple of times. Um, but there's some more bus stops up here. Bus stop 13 and 14. 14. That's San Antonio. Uh, huh. Okay, well, I think we must have it surrounded. It's going to be here somewhere. I started on the other side of this. You do realise, don't you, that I've gone all the way round. Look. The escalator I was going up just now. Here we are. A long last. But there's not another one for 25 minutes. So, <sighs> what's the time? 25 minutes have I got time to squeeze in a sneaky wine? Mm, I think so. Well, here we go. Time for a wine. Hey, you've got the same view as my wine glass always have. What's it like to be a glass of my wine? Well, cheers guys. Thank you for passing this day with me. There's still more to come. Let's see what else happens. Mind you, I haven't got where I'm going yet. Still, let's relax a little bit. Five minutes. Oh, I've arrived in one piece. Santa Alia del Rio. Oh, Santularia des Rio, si quieres hablar catalán o ibitenco, lo siento. And here we are. I'm going to meet a friend, have some lunch, and um, we'll do some more bits and pieces while we're here. shouldn't but Ooh, I don't know should I <laughs> so lunch date over I'm well and truly stuffed. Um, menu del dear. If you, anybody out there doesn't know the style of eating here in Spain, at lunchtime we have what's called a menu del dear. In fact, if you go into a restaurant here and ask for a menu, it's always three courses. If you want, in English, what we would call the menu, then you have to ask for the card, a la carte. So I've just had a menu del dear. My friend treated me, which was very nice of her. Um, so three courses, salad, fish, salmon, and Grechenera for my dessert. Grechenera is a dessert, it's like a cake that comes from Ibiza, it's traditional to Ibiza. And it's made, it's a bit like many of you Brits out there that would have a bread and butter pudding. So it's made from all the stale, like croissants from the morning stale not really stale but you know what I mean and it's all put together and it's served with caramel sauce very very nice but very heavy I feel about 15 ton in weight now so but um there you go that's why I'm gonna have a nice walk now a siesta and then into the evening It's very, very pretty here. And now less tourists, a lot less quiet, except for the children screaming on the other side of the river. But it is a beautiful place, really. It really is. Oh, 
Sorry. <laughs> you caught me having a bit of a kip. Oh, a couple of glasses of wine, a big lunch, and I deserve it. It's been a hard morning. Hi. So the evening has arrived. I'm staying in my friend's apartment, but um, it's so, so quiet. I'll show you around in a minute. There's no lights on in the pool. There's hardly anybody here. In fact, I'm finding myself whispering just because it's sort of, I feel that I'll break the silence if I speak any louder. So. Well, there you go, guys. I told you I'd show it to you. What do you think? It's all right, isn't it? I think it was a good purchase. <laughs> so that was my day in Ibiza. I didn't go out tonight. Boring. But back to Valencia tomorrow, taking my friend back with me. That's the reason why I came over, to help her back, because she doesn't like traveling on her own. So tomorrow... Back to my normal life. I hope you've enjoyed spending the day with me. Um, hasn't been exactly exciting, but there you go. A day in the life of Mr. Colbran. And I'll be doing some more of these now. And you'll be surprised. A few bits of other pieces coming up. I've got some things up my sleeve. <laughs> nice guys. See you soon. Subscribe.